Here we're asked to graph a function. The first thing I notice is that this function has a degree of 2. It's a quadratic function. And therefore the graph is going to be a parabola. Notice here that the leading coefficient, a, is negative. And so that tells me this parabola will open down. Next, I want to determine the y-intercept. Now, the y-intercept occurs when x is 0. So by inspection, we can see that when x is 0, the y value will be negative 9. So 0 comma negative 9 is the y-intercept. To find the x-intercept, remember, we set y equal to 0. In other words, g of x equal to 0 in this case and then solve. So we have 0 equals negative 4x squared plus 12x minus 9. So here we have a quadratic equation equal to 0. We need to solve this. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by negative 1. In that case we get 0 equals 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. And then this quadratic expression here factors factoring 4x squared as 2x times 2x, and 9 times 3 times 3, we can see our inner product is 6x, and our outer product is 6x. Adds up to negative 12x if they're both negative. So we can write then 2x minus 3 equals 0, or 2x minus 3 equals 0. And we're going to get the same value for both, both of these linear equations here. We have x equals 3 halves, and or x equals 3 halves. So in other words, we have a double root. That tells me there's only one x-intercept, and that is at 1 and a half or 3 halves comma 0. Once we determine the intercepts, we then want to find the vertex. We, we can find the x value of the vertex using the formula x equals negative b over 2a. Now when you use this formula, remember you want to use your original function here. So we have negative b, or negative 12, over 2 times a, 2 times negative 4, which is negative 12 over negative 8, reduces to 3 halves. Now to find the corresponding y value, we need to determine g of 3 halves. Now we can do that by substituting 3 halves here for each instance of x. And so doing that, we can see here we have negative 4 times 3 halves squared, which is 9 fourths, plus uh, 2 divides into 12 6 times, and then 6 times 3 is 18 minus the 9. These 4's cancel, so you have negative 9 plus 18 minus 9, and certainly that equals 0. Now we knew that would be the case because the x-intercept had an x-value of 3 halves as well. That tells me the vertex is the same here as the x-intercept, 3 halves comma 0. Okay, with the y-intercept, the x-intercept, and the vertex, we're ready to graph this parabola. Okay, so we have a y-intercept at 0, comma, negative 9, an x-intercept at 3 halves, comma, 0. 3 halves is the same as 1 and a half. So 1 and a half, comma, 0 is also the vertex. Now we should label that. And in this case, we only have two points, and that doesn't seem like enough to actually graph a parabola. So we need at least one more point. Let's see what happens when x is 3. Okay, when x is 3, then we need to find the corresponding y value. In other words, we need to calculate g of 3. So in this case, we have negative 4 times 3 squared, right, plus 12 times 3 minus 9. Okay, so negative 4 times 9 plus 36 minus 9, or negative 36 plus 36 minus 9. And that gives us a result of negative 9. So that tells me the extra point we can use here is 3 comma negative 9. 
So 3 comma negative 9 gives us that third point, and then we can sketch the graph of this parabola opening downward. And so here we have a rough sketch of the graph of G.